Hello there guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be taking a quick peek at Mallman. Now this is not going to be a full on review video which is coming because Mallman in fact has been one of my favorite champions to play with recently. I've been having a ton of fun with Mallman and Immortal Hulk. But we are going to be looking at Mallman in a very specific piece of content and that is 6.36 the lane that has saved that on so on and so forth now one of the reasons 6.3 i personally wasn't a fan of is because of that entire boost system now i do not think that the nodes were overly well designed in general compared to let's say 7.1 and even 6.4 seemed to be more fair and balanced but that boost system that they had where you had to know when to use very specific boosts that only affect one of the class champions in order to actually make some lanes doable. And one of these boosts is called tactical maneuvering and effectively the way it works is every time you would inflict bleed but opponents immune you inflict uh, direct damage and that damage ramps up the longer the fight goes the higher your combo meter is the more bleeds you would have had inflicted. And you guys are probably realizing where this is heading to now previously i have showcased this lane in particular with a couple of champions already uh and honestly the best options still remain ronan nick fury possibly blade and squirrel girl surprisingly because squirrel girl can alter her combo meter and she can do a ton of damage very quickly on these lanes however now Maltman has entered the consideration as well now there is a bit of problem with that rapid metabolism lane uh, because that makes it trickier to parry heavy. In order to sort that problem, uh, because Guardian is one of the only Moleman synergies that actually matter, I also added into the team, I believe, what it was, uh, Wolverine, because then my first three parries are guaranteed to be perfect blocks, and when you have such a high perfect block chance, also your parry duration is extended, so I have zero problems actually landing my three heavy attacks. And for vast majority of the fights, that is actually enough. And we can see that uh, once you enter your frenzy mode, every single hit has a bleed associated with that. And that means every single hit has a chance to trigger that tactical maneuvering boost and do a ton of extra damage. And uh, before long, you are dealing a ton of damage uh, due to this tactical maneuvering boost. And uh, the fight uh, just finishes quickly because every single hit is tearing through and the longer you go the higher combo meter you have the more damage you're doing there you can see that once again there every hit now pretty much all almost every hit inflicts it we can see it's gone up to like 7700 7800 and uh yeah now there my frenzy unfortunately expired and uh, later on i realized that it's pra more practical to actually just build up to level threes but the fight at this point is pretty much over. I just need like one crit to land and that dealt 9,800 extra damage. And uh, yeah, I, I still do think that the best answer for these lanes with the tactical maneuvering uh, boost active probably is Squirrel Girl and Ronan. But at the same time, Mole Man is definitely now a worthwhile contender. And I might say that Squirrel Girl is better for this one lane in particular. But if we're being realistic, that Mallman now is a champion that you are much, much more likely to have at rank 5 or rank 3 as a 6 star over a Squirrel Girl or somebody like that. Therefore, even though he might not be the best for this lane in particular, but the fact that he synergizes so well and he's still a very legitimately great option uh, is good enough to be relevant and to use Mallman. Because, yeah, you can't use champions that you do not have ranked up. And even if Squirrel Girl is better than Mallman for this lane, then chances are that your Squirrel Girl is rank 1 and your Mallman is rank 2 or 3. Therefore, Mallman will do overall a better job here. Now, at this point, I kind of realized that it's better to go for level 3s because they do give you 10 monster mass. And uh, yeah, it's just easier to maintain your monster mass like this and then you have less things to worry about. And also, you don't need to deal with recall damage. And we can see from this point where I kind of like adjusted my strategy, stopped trying to heavy when I shouldn't have been trying to heavy. And uh, yeah, the fight is blitzing through just about fine. And uh, Mallman has a ton of kind of like 
so to speak, low-key uses. Because when you go read throughout Mallman's ability description, uh, it's fairly straightforward. So guaranteed crits, bleeds, shock immunity, chance to be unstoppable. But all of those enable you to do so much content. That true accuracy, that rung of ability, plus everything that I said earlier, come together in a very nice, neat little package that's pretty much perfect and versatile for a lot of situations because he doesn't need any synergies. You can use him with and without suicide masteries, you can adjust playstyles. And I definitely do think that Mole Man deserves everybody's respect now these days, and he's very, very, very close to the top of skill class. Now, I do not think that it, he is better or more relevant than Nick Fury, but uh, day to day, He's insanely helpful. He's a great casual questing champion. He has a ton of utility. And he just seems to fit and answer plenty of tricky fights, plenty of problems, which I absolutely love about the character. Here we can see the damage ramp up once again from tactical maneuvering. Uh, we can see that it's going up starting at 2000 or something. And now we're doing 4800, 5400. I'm going to go and drop my level 3. And then after that, the fight is going to be close to finished with a couple of combos to be honest and uh, i also wanted to make a quick note that i'm extremely happy that kabam moved away from this boost practice which i found very annoying and if you think about it we still have access to these boosts in 7.1 it's just that instead of them coming in a boost form they are coming as a helpful node because one of the things that most of us enjoyed most well definitely about 7.1 but all of those nodes that let us increase damage or allow some cosmic champions do some cool stuff and so on and so forth and uh, it's exactly the same thing it's just that they took the boosts and placed them as nodes so it just shows how different perception of a piece of content can be changing some things about and i didn't realize that immediately but the more i thought about it the more it made sense because 7.1 effectively have all of this boost strategy still in it just like they tested out at 6.3 the only difference is at 6.3 it was presented through these boosts and it was perceived a lot more negative because you have to do a lot more homework you need to realize which which lanes these boosts are intended for or which champions they are intended for and then you need to go and get the boosts and if you fail then you might need to use units which nobody ever likes to do and has like a lot of negative connotations to it so just by taking the same principle as in like buffing some champions in some very less than common ways but instead of putting it into boosts and forcing people to do the legwork and figure out what which ones to use when and forcing people to possibly spend units and earn them and having this whole another thing to worry about they put it on nodes directly on path in Act 7.1, and everybody loves that. So it, it's an interesting way to approach thinking about the difference between 6.3 and 7.1. Because a lot of things there are definitely quite similar. But at this point here, you can see Mole Man is uh, shredding through this vision. Every hit basically inflicts 7,000 extra damage, or almost every hit, and his health bar is just totally, totally disappearing. So that is also about it for this video. I do think that uh, I will upload a handful of more Mole Man videos. And when I'm done with kind of like individual showcases, I'll try and upload a proper guide as in like, this is how the champion functions. This is why it's great. Uh, when it comes to his rotations, it's really not all that important. It depends on what the nodes require, but I will try to showcase Mole Man properly and uh, Try and convince people who are not convinced uh, to the fact that Molman is in fact an amazing champion right now. And I'm also glad that I got to weave in this entire 6.3, 7.1 boost story in here because it has actually been sitting in my head for a while where they changed the tray, they changed the placeholder but kept the same idea and the result is infinitely better. So that's definitely very interesting point there when you compare act six and act seven and why it is so much more wildly popular than act six was but that is about it for this video stay tuned for upcoming videos i do plan to upload another one today i think so we'll see where that ends up 
but i hope you guys enjoyed this one if you and if you did then definitely hit that like button hit that sub button hit all the buttons and i'm gonna catch you guys soon see ya Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So we have all the information about